Hello everyone, my name is Paul Dietrich and welcome to Dietrich Education where I talk about everything at tech. And as educators, we've all made interactive slides before, from the word clouds to the polls, the constructed response, the open response questions, uh, drawing prompts, all for a lesson that we've taught or a lesson that we're about to teach. But what if I told you that you could do all of that on one platform in about 30 seconds? It's called Curapod, and they use the power of artificial intelligence to create an interactive slide deck based on a grade level that you can choose, a topic that you type in, and even some learning objectives or standards that you input in as well. And basically, once you do all that, you click on this do the magic button and magic happens, <laughs> and you get this full on uh, interactive slide that has word clouds and polls and constructive response that's ready made. And it literally takes seconds. So let's get started with an example, finding the slope of a line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, um, okay, actually let's, let's leave it for eighth grade. Um, learning objective and standards. I'm gonna say students will be able to identify and calculate the slope of a line. And I just click on do the magic. Maybe I can do a little timer here too, because it's usually pretty quick, but sometimes it's not. Um, I've even run into some situations where um, it says, oh, the AI is a little bit too busy. Uh, try again later. Um, but looks like we're done. <laughs> and I'm going to stop the timer and we'll see how much time it took. But um, if you take a look, it just made, boom, 16 slides. Now I want you to look at this for a second. So I, I, I barely put in any information at all. And it gave me, it gave me 16 slides. Um, this first slide is like, oh, what do you call the steepness of a line? So this is a word cloud. If you notice on the upper right hand, hand uh, side here, it's, it's a word cloud activity. You can control the duration, how long you want uh, students to participate in this. Um, entries par per participant, you can control um, how many words the students are actually submitting at a time. You can control the backgrounds here as well, um, and even the brightness of those backgrounds. And you can apply it either to just this one slide or click on apply the all, and it will apply to every single slide in your slide deck. Um, the second slide is just text. Um, third slide is also text. Here's like a did you know, it appears, you know, it talks about concepts. Um, this fifth slide says, oh, what is the definition of slope? And if you notice, uh, and this one, this is an open question. And what you can do is kids will actually start typing in uh, answers that they'll choose and you can actually see results. It will show you results at the end. And one of the things I actually really love about this too is that somewhere in the middle of every slide deck that I've created, they always include one of these things about halfway through every single slide. And it's this really fun, brain break activity. So you kind of get out of the monotony of a lesson and all of a sudden you go from, okay, what strategies did you use to calculate the slope of a line? And you go bam, right into draw a frog dressed as a prince holding a tiny sword and wearing a crown as a quick brain break. One of the things that I actually really uh, like about this too, and I, I don't really see this uh, in, in other platforms as much. So you obviously have a present feature, but there's also a preview. What I've done is to kind of test out my games or my lessons. Historically, I've had to, you know, host my presentation and then, for example, using another computer or using my cell phone or some other device, I would actually log in as a participant just to see what it looks like, right? But this is the great thing about Curapod. They have this preview feature. Let me click on this where it shows you, look at this, it shows you your presentation, but on the left-hand side, it actually demonstrates what your participants will see. And this is not just a picture, this is completely interactive. So I'm gonna type in the pin on this little iPad or phone looking thing. Here's the pin right here on the screen, uh, 93660, 93660, and I hit join. See on my side of things, it's, it's waiting, right? And it says, oh, enter your real name, right? So I'm gonna put Paul and I hit submit. And it says, great, you're in, but it's gonna give you a nickname. 
and I am going to be friendly volcano for today. Now, here's the awesome part is that um, most of the time, and I would say about most of what I mean is like 99.9% .9 of the time, I will get kids who don't want to put their real name. They get a little shy, right? So uh, the great thing about this is that they have a nickname so they can respond freely without the fear of being judged. But at the end of the presentation, when you're, everything is all done, you actually have the ability to go back and look at the responses and click on show real names. So you're not going to have to try and guess who was Friendly Volcano and keep track of everything. That way you can click on show real names and you can see everything uh, that someone has said uh, on their real name. So let's just do a quick demo here. This is what do you call the steepness of a line. Um, so I'm going to click on play. It's a two minute timer. And actually right from here, I can decide, um, oh, I want to decrease the time, 30 second increment. So I can increase the time. So you're not stuck, you know, on a, on an editing screen. You can actually edit the time right here. And now this button here shows you which participants have come in. There's some music. You can control the music here too, or just turn it off. And then in terms of the settings, you also have some full screen. You have some settings here that you can do, but I'm going to click on the play button because now keep an eye on the participant side. So as soon as I hit play, I have a two minute timer. Let me turn off the music for a second. Okay. So I have some things that I can start typing in now. Um, but actually, if you notice right over here, this just popped up and this doesn't stay up for very long, but it says, did you know that you can filter and moderate inappropriate responses in our moderation tool? I'm going to show you where that is in a second, but if you can imagine, because this is the first slide, this is a word cloud. So this, you know, word clouds or open responses, you know, that feeling like, oh, okay, please let all the responses be appropriate today, right? We don't have really have to worry about that anymore. So actually as a student is going through here and typing in, you know, okay, oh, there's, you know, steepness, uh, steep, height, slope, um, or whatever, noobs, right? I'm gonna say that. Now, actually, before I hit submit, I, what I can do here is um, clicking on this little cloud there's this little option it says open moderation so when i open that i get this box and actually i can have this on the side if i want to um, or on a separate screen so this is what they call moderation view um, i want to click ok and um, what it's doing is that it's waiting for responses so as a student see on the left side here okay i'm done with my responses i hit submit now if you notice Okay, it's not showing the word cloud just yet. Nothing really pops up in real time. That's because it's allowing you as the teacher to determine what is and what is not appropriate. Should I show this to all of my class? Um, going back to here, here's what Paul has submitted. And oh, steepness, steepness, noobs. Oh, I don't know. I don't really like that one. I can dismiss it. And here's what I like about it. I'm not dismissing all of my responses, I'm only dismissing the response that's inappropriate. So I hit dismiss and I can actually, I can undo it as well. I can put it back if I want to, so I can dismiss. Um, and then when I go back here to my word cloud, everything but the inappropriate word is there. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to the main menu here and exit uh, the screen. So there's so many fun things with CurePod that make your presentations and lessons much more interactive and you can do so now at a fraction of the time that it would take you to make something that has all these components built in and it's one platform one spot to do all of these different factors of interactivity within your lesson so thank you for watching if you would like to check them out it's curapod.com and they are our awesome folks. I met the founders and they are absolutely amazing people as well. So go check them out and have fun with this. Thanks for watching.